recovery and growth. It's based on working the three positions, or angles, that each muscle requires for total stimulation. A stretch position exercise, like the overhead triceps extension, you place the target muscle into a complete stretch. This allows you to take advantage of the myotatic reflex, or pre-stretch phenomenon, an action that can help you involve more fibers in the target muscle for a more intense contraction of a stretch position movement, like the overhead triceps extensions. Because the muscle is completely stretched, you get a more powerful contraction with each rep when you quickly reverse the movement instead of pausing. Pre-stretch is one reason why working the stretch position is vital to achieving complete development with fewer sets. The second exercise in the POF triceps routine is the overhead extension. With this movement, you completely work the triceps in the stretch position. This stretch occurs due to your upper arm's vertical position. At the bottom of this movement, you will feel a strong pull on the triceps muscles. This pull, or stretch, will allow you to take advantage of the pre-stretch phenomenon. Remember, this is not a bounce, but simply a quick reversal of movement in the bottom position that helps you involve more muscle fibers. To make the overhead extension as effective as possible, don't let your upper arms come forward or drift out to the sides. Don't throw the weight up. And don't pause at the bottom of the movement. One arm overhead extensions. Keep the movement strict. And don't forget the quick reversal of movement at the bottom of each rep. You achieve the biceps stretch position when your arm is straight and back behind your torso. You work this muscle through its mid-range position when the arms are next to or slightly in front of your body. Total biceps contraction occurs when your upper arm is up next to your head and your lower arm is bent down with the palm twisting outward. Range exercises include seated dumbbell curls. You can do these either simultaneously or by alternating arms. The exercise in the POF biceps routine is the incline dumbbell curl. With this movement, you get complete biceps stretch because your upper arm is straight down and back behind the plane of your torso. This complete stretch position for the biceps places resistance on the muscle when it's elongated which allows you to take advantage of the pre-stretch phenomenon. By reversing the movement with a quick twitch in the bottom stretch position, you can involve more fibers, get a more powerful contraction, and stimulate more growth. To make the inclined dumbbell curl as effective as possible, don't allow your upper arm to move too far forward during the upward movement or you will bring the front deltoids into the exercise. Also, don't rest at the top of each rep. Keep the dumbbells moving. With proper performance, the incline dumbbell curl will completely work the biceps in the stretch position. Alternate stretch position exercises include biceps completely contracted position when your upper arm is next to your head forearm flush against the upper arm, palm down, and your little finger twisting outward. Unfortunately, this position is hard to simulate with any conventional barbell exercise. You could conceivably use an overhead cable, but this is awkward and not very effective. A better choice is non-support concentration curls. This exercise will get you as close as possible to the completely contracted position. Here, you want to keep your torso slightly below parallel with the floor. Remember,
you're trying to get as close to the completely contracted position as you can. Also, notice that at the top of this movement, you have to fight to hold the weight. The resistance doesn't fall off as in the barbell curl. This allows you to finish off the biceps with an intense peak contraction. To get the most out of this exercise, don't allow the upper arm to move from side to side. Keep it stationary. Also, don't do this exercise in a piston-like manner as you did the other two exercises. You want to take advantage of the peak contraction effect, so pause at the top of each rep and flex the biceps hard for a count of two. Remember, you only use this pause and flex when there is resistance in the contracted position. Work the stretch position of your forearm flexors with incline wrist curls. By raising the end of a flat bench and doing your wrist curls with your forearms on the bench and keeping the angle at your elbow greater than 90 degrees, you can achieve an effective stretch in the flexors. Curl the bar up until you feel the resistance fall off. Then lower back to the stretch position, quickly reversing the movement at the bottom to get that important pre-stretch. There's no need to let the bar roll down your fingers because that doesn't enhance the stretch on the target muscles. Also, don't pause at the top. You don't reach peak contraction, so there's no need for a two-second flex. Keep the bar moving in a rhythmic cadence and don't forget about pre-stretch. You want to involve as many fibers as possible. Alternate exercises include hammer curls. Do these sitting on the end of a bench for a stricter movement. To work the extensor's stretch position, do incline reverse wrist curls off the end of a raised bench. This will completely stretch these muscles. You will feel a strong pull on the flexors in the bottom position, but don't pause. Once you hit bottom, quickly reverse the movement. To get the most from this exercise, don't let your forearms come up off the bench. Maintain an angle at your elbows that is greater than 90 degrees. Don't pause at the top. And don't forget about pre-stretch at the bottom of each rep. When you work forearms, you should train the flexors first. 